Next, from Chicago, we sit down with Greg Goins, the superintendent of the West Frankfurt School District, and discuss how student cell phones can benefit their education, as well as how the rush of new technology is changing the classroom. Greg Goins, thanks for joining us on the Illinois Channel. We uh, are here at the Illinois Association of School Boards Conference, and one of the uh, issues that we often hear people talk about is how students love their cell phones. Sometimes uh, teachers don't want them to have them in the school. Some people say it's okay. Where do you come down on that issue? Well, I think there's two rules of thought. That, you know, there's one, on the one hand, there are folks out there that believe that cell phones are a distraction and really detract from the learning process. I happen to fall on the other side. I think it's a marvelous learning tool and we have a new generation of kids in our classrooms and schools today, the new I generation, and this is the world that we live in. And I would rather teach those kids how to use those, those devices in a re reasonable and responsible way than to take them away from them because I think there are so many wonderful learning opportunities with mobile devices. What are some of those? I mean, people think, well, they're going to be texting their friends during classes and all. What, what are the ways in which the uh, cell phone uh, adds to the educational environment? Well, I think it's just a wealth of information. I mean, if you think about it, a smartphone is nothing more than a pocket computer. And uh, the average school district in this country spends $400 per student annually on technology. So you're spending a lot of money creating these com traditional computer lab environments when kids already have these devices at home. So why not let them bring them, their devices that they're already familiar with and com comfortable with, let them bring them into the school and create that bring your own device environment and let kids just uh, enjoy those learning opportunities. There's so many opportunities kids can learn uh, and grow with uh, you know, digital technology. You know, I think a lot of us who grew up in the 60s, we, we project our experience is the same as today. How, how has the classroom changed with this rush of technology we've had over the last 10 years? Well, I tell people all the time, if classrooms look anything like they did when I was in school during the 1970s and early 80s, then we're failing our kids. I mean, we have to create a world that's relevant for them. And you now the, the four C's of education in the 21st century have to be front and foremost whenever we're, we're thinking about our curriculum. You know, we're talking about creativity, collaboration, communication, critical thinking skills. So, um, you know, kids have these tools and they're just wonderful opportunities for kids to learn and grow in a digital climate. You know, some years ago, you're from Southern Illinois, your district is what? Uh, the West Frankfort School District in Southern Illinois. And what, what is the, uh, give us an idea, what is the population of your, your students? I mean, what is socioeconomically, how are we they? We have about uh, 1,700 students in our school district, K through 12. Uh, it's a low poverty district, a lot of uh, low income families, but we've been able to really bridge that digital divide with our bring your own device program. So kids that have devices, we allow them to bring them in the schools and we teach them how to use them in a responsible way. So. What do, you, what do you do for those families that can't have a device? Well, we provide device. devices when we need to. We still spend district funds on things like uh, iPads and those type of things. We're actually a one-to-one -one iPad school, K through six, and then a BYD, uh, BYOD school at the junior high and high school. So we do provide those opportunities. How long have you had this policy? BYOD's been in place for about five years, and uh, it's continued to grow and flourish. And we have kids that are doing amazing things every day. And I tell people, uh, you know, if we just get out of their way as adults, kids will find a way to use those tools in a positive way. How have the teachers uh, responded to having these devices? I think initially it was challenging, but I think over a period of time, you know, adults are like students. They want to use those digital tools as well. So uh, I think over a period of time, everyone has accepted the idea that it has to be a part of our school culture. You know, so many people who might be in Chicago and have students here, there, there's so much rich culture mm -hmm. and uh, the, the museums, uh, et cetera, et cetera, goes on and on and on, what, what they can uh, go to. I had someone down in Massac County several years ago tell me that they have kids in high school who have never left the county. And to that end, I would imagine, I mean, this, the ability now for them to see the world through these devices really shows them what a big world there is out there, even if they don't have the wherewithal to be traveling the world. Yeah, without a doubt. The world's a, a much smaller place today with, with the technology tools we have at our disposal. And, you know, kids can, we can go to those museums. We can go to those Civil War battlefields. We'll take a virtual field trip and go anywhere we want. And we even have students that are connecting with other classrooms uh, throughout the country through things like Mystery Skype. So just being able to connect with people and talk to them any place, any time has, has been a game changer for us. All right, well, Greg Goins, we appreciate you taking the time to speak with us. Thank you very much. Thank you.